Hi, everybody, and welcome to BCEagles.com. Preview of the BC Wake Forest game. I'm Jami DePerel. Eagles coming off a season opening 23-20 win over Northern Illinois last Friday night. Redshirt freshman quarterback Anthony Brown shown when the matters became dicey, Brown was there completing big passes on third down to redshirt freshman receiver Kobe White. He had six grabs. Mike Walker led the way with eight. Eagles need to continue to distribute the ball tomorrow against Wake Forest. Wake Forest, much like BC, working in some newcomers on the defensive side of the ball. They were stingy against Presbyterian in their opener. They won 51-7. to Not representative, though, of an upper-level FBS squad, Presbyterian, out of the FCS. Dave Clawson, the fourth-year coach, known as a program rebuilder. They won their bowl game against Temple last year at the Military Bowl. They did lose 4-5 of five down the stretch, including including a tight one to Boston College. Eagles want to unleash Harold Landry tomorrow. He had a big game last week, year against Wake Forest. So the pass rush is central for BC. Develop more explosive plays and get the running game on track. John Hillman, A.J. Dillon, Travis Levy, Richard Wilson, et al. They need to get things going tomorrow. John Baker will not play. He has a knee injury at center. It could be a cast of thousands replacing him up front. Should be an interesting home opener. It's going to be a great kickoff for Boston College as they return to Chestnut Hill. Don't forget to catch the BC Wake Forest game tomorrow at 12.30 on the BC IMG Sports Network and at 1 o'clock on ACC Network Extra. Until then, I'm Jami DePerel for BCEagles.com.